Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, three o'clock and it's Wednesday and uh, I'm um, I'm Dr. John, I'm Dr. John Celestri. Um, I've been doing comics and uh, professional animation for 45 plus years. So um, I guess that makes me uh, have learned my, I've earned my doctorate about through, uh, through you know, personal experience and professional work. So uh, I'm hoping to uh, to give you you know uh, information and things that you that you'll be able to use, and um, and so for the next uh, thirty minutes, uh, the doctor is in, and um, oh, let's see what we're going to do here. We are going to go to my. Oh yeah, there you go. Hi, good afternoon. Here we are. Uh, I'm hoping to. Uh, if, if there's anybody here who is uh, is uh, is seeing this as live stream, uh, come on in and uh, you know put your uh, comments and uh, let me know uh, what's uh, what's going on in your life and know uh, if you've got questions. Um, and I'm just gonna put down here. I'm I'm here and and ready, ready to draw. That's me. Okay, we're gonna do that. Um, we are going to do a bit of. Um, oh, hey, there's oh already, Damien. Hi, hello, good afternoon, sir. I'm glad that you uh, that you came by. And uh, um, as I as I said, I was about to say we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about uh, laying out action for your page and your comic strip page, your comic book page. It's something that I that that uh, let's put it this way. Um, in animation, you have to be able to be very, very clear and concise with what you want your viewer, your audience to see. And that means that you have to, you know, uh, show where they are, uh, direct their eye in a particular, you know, spot. Let them see what you want them to see in the order in which you want them to see these images. That's that's something that that is true, whether it be in animation or it's also um, uh, in um, you know in, in comic book work, uh, particularly in comic book work because there's you've you've got a full range. You got a page with all kinds kinds of of images that would be uh, that that can be uh that you want to show all at the same time well you know it's on one page but you have to focus and you have to learn to focus and 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 and, and uh, make the audience reader see what you want to see in the order that you want them to see it in and we'll talk about that and I'll show you with this and we have candy Hi there, hi there, Candy. Glad to see. You. Oh, this is your. I, I think this is the first time I've uh, that you've uh, that you've swung by here, or you you were aware of uh, this um, of my uh, live stream. Well, I'm glad to see you, and uh, you know, uh, please uh, please post whatever your comments you you have, and uh, that'd be great. And I'll try and answer them as uh, as best I can. 
So we're going to uh, I'm going to share my screen. Yep. Yep. Glad to be here. Yep. There you go. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. Let's see. What are we going to do with this? Uh, we're going to do this this way. Okay. Let's uh, let's get these banners up here. There's some some things I wanted to 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 show here. There, okay, there you go. Now, at least I'm all set up properly. Um, we're gonna, this is the uh, the page for, um, uh, this is in the way here. I'm just gonna, I know who I am. I just, oh, I don't need that one. Okay, I'm just gonna hide that. Okay, I just don't want to, I just don't want you to miss out down here. So, uh, let's see. So this is a a page from my uh, latest my uh, a book two that I'm just crowdfunding with Kickstarter, and uh, this is uh, from a book two of uh, Bloodwing Angel Chronicles, and um, this is an action page as you can tell. Uh, but if you let me just focus up a little bit here and just bring this around a bit like that. Um, I've got it in, we've got three levels, three, I'll, I'll put it like three screens. That's how I look at it as animation and, and, and comic book work. But you've got, you've got so much going on here. So the, be the best thing to do is, is, is uh, you want to show the audience all this action all this action that's happening and uh, but at the same time you want to make sure that they're seeing it and are able to read it without just being a jumble and just pick it out and say well, wh what am i supposed to look at first well usually and so first things first here we've got a gutter here and i i think you can see my pointer Come going through there. There's a gutter, and there's a gutter down here. So that's what differentiates the one, two, three pages here. Let me see if we got. I want to get this uh, comment. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. In order for me to really, uh talk this through i'm going to lay this lay uh, this down to about a 50% i'm going to drop it all the way down here and then i'm going to be starting to work with a marker so that you can we can work and i'll point things out here um now you've got Michael is here, and we've just had this great big uh, altercation. Well, we've just been—he just Michael has just seen this uh, uh, this creature that is basically one three-headed beast, and and in the previous uh, page, well, this beast now suddenly has snapped itself into three separate serpents which is a pretty cool thing to do. So the first thing that you'll see on this page is, uh, the, uh, is the snap, is a one, two, three, right here. That's the first thing that you will see and I'll be aware of. And you'll see this image here, and then this one here, and then this one here. So you've got your three, characters and then you have little michael and if you look at it from that point of view uh there should be no confusion as to where the character what what, what to look at again that's your bull, bullseye that's the first thing that'll that'll pop your pop against uh, up to your eye uh, uh, attract your eye when you turn the page and look at it um so you've got that and then you've got 
to three, then suddenly you, you go from uh, you know, a three-headed beast to three fully formed snakes. And Michael is in the start position. So I'm just going to get rid of that and put on another layer here. Okay. Now, every now and then, I'm going to be looking back and just see if anybody else is there. Oh, okay. Okay, now, now I'll tell you, that we, uh, as I said, I, I do these for about, you know, a 30-minute session. That way, if I go too, if I go too far, uh, uh, too much longer, then it gets a little bit, uh, oh, I don't know, boring. First off, let me find out. Uh, can you hear me very well? Is there any problems? Let me know on in the, you know, in the um, in your in the chat here. Just uh, either Damien or, or Candy, just give me a thumbs up saying that you can hear, and uh, that would be great. Because I you know, I checked I checked my audience. Sound is great. Good, Candy. Okay, I will carry on then. <laughs> um, now. For uh, just for for the next thing here now, with uh, with this next bit, we are going. Here's we've got Michael here, and we already see what's going on up and around this area here. The next thing is basically, and this is from you know working with Dragon's Lair, as Space Ace, the video arcade games. Uh, Michael has got to get. The, the, there, there, there's, there is a, an action that it, Michael has to do, which is to get away from these three. And the first thing to do is to launch. So you have a launch here. Well, and then the next page is a, is coming down into a position, whereas it launches up and basically it's going to like that. And this is that position down there, and that's 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 how you uh, I framed the picture. So so basically, the action is from the start, go across the screen and get to the uh, to the other side of the screen here. But it's like going through a gauntlet, um, and uh, and so I I laid it out knowing what needs to be done. So therefore. Um, um, that is the first step of what I want to see. Now, you'll note that up here, and let's just uh, bring it down again here. Up here was is the is is very white. Now, I use color as a way to tell you where to go, either whites, blacks, what have you. Um, in this particular case. We start off with the white here, and you also have Michael's white wings. And here's, again, more white wings, white wings. So your eye is also being attracted to these images here. Now, um, this part here, uh, it's, it's yellow. The, the, uh, the shits. Yeah, they, they blast the hit. That's yellow, and so therefore it's not as strong as as the white. Um, oh, let's see. We got somebody else here. Who's so? Kali, I am some. I am going. I am terrible for pronunciations, but who's so? It says the stream is working perfectly. Thank you very much. Uh, where are you coming from? Who's so? I mean, I, I, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, I'm not used, to, I, I haven't heard, I've not seen that name before. Just uh, let me know where you're coming from and that'd be great. Um, so anyway, back, back to this bit here. So we, so we have the white 
and I'm, that's what I'm using here uh, to to uh, get the most. I don't know uh, to, to pinpoint where Michael is because Michael is the smallest item uh, character in this page. So you have that. Um, then we start off with, you know, we've got we've again we we do have the, this 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 beast that's now three headed and three tailed, but we started off with I said okay, it's a similar color of green, a, a variation of green in some way, shape, or form. So you have one item that is now split. Having done that, I thought it would be a lot more fun, and I'm just going to uh, bring this here up a bit. I thought it would be a lot more fun and be and better, really, if the uh, the the creature that's now three has a chameleon ability to change colors. And the reason I did that is I wanted action. I wanted to the feeling of franticness and and a, a little bit of I don't know where everything is going or uh, the, the energy. If you've got a if you've got a character that's that's always you know, if you've got like so much green going on here all the same time, it gets really boring. You know, is that you have the green. And then you have green, and then you have green, and that, to me, is, you know, is not giving you energy. And I want to give you energy in this page. So, I decided, okay, I'm going to give them the character and and the and the creature uh, and the ability to change colors, whether it be emotion, a reason for emotions, or just. Um, you know, uh, it has and it goes through a range as part of it. I don't have to explain it. It's a cartoon. These are monsters. Uh, you can do whatever you want at you know, given given your abilities as a creator. Uh, so, I decided, okay, I'm going to go with, you know, uh, with the green that's closest to what's up front here. So I've gone. This here, uh, this this character, this this uh, portion of the demon is uh, is going to be a bit more, you know, still greenish, but it's kind of a sickly green here. And then lands, and uh, just just after Michael has has taken off, and that's the kind of thing we would do on uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, which is to get the hero just. Out of the reach of whatever you know, beast or uh, or or villain is 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 about to hit him and and smack him. Um, we then also have the for the second uh, beast here. I changed from green to blue, and then the third beast, you know, to from green to a purple. It's just to make it interesting and to and to give energy again. Uh, so we now have a situation where this beast here is an, is anticipating is going to is 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 getting ready to go after Michael, and Michael is framed by these two creatures. But again, you can see Michael is launched off. It's with his white wings. And this here, mouth open, and this here, this third beast is getting ready for uh, to to go after Michael. But this one is is just about ready to long, to lunge and does so on this one, you know, on this on the third panel again, changing colors. And the reason again, changing colors, I want to give you give. An energy, a franticness to um, uh, to the action. Okay, let's do a little bit here. Oh, so Huso is from Finland. Well, thank you very much for showing up. 
Thank you for, for visiting. Thank you. And he says, uh, don't worry about the name. Yes. <laughs> okay. Huso, I'll, I will just call you Huso. Okay. And then Candy says, I have to drive, but we'll listen to the next rest later. Thanks, friend. Oh, Candy, great. You will watch it, you know, you know, catch it later on. Okay. That's, that's great. Thanks for visiting. I'll talk to you. Take care. Bye. And yeah, okay. So um, uh, now with, um, so we've got here a, uh, an ant, uh, this beast, beast here is, is ready to, to uh, you know, lunge, launch a lunge after Michael and Liss and, and hit and misses. So we've got this, this action going on here. This one here, this third beast, is his got he's got double, uh, you know, kind of um, tongues coming out of his 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 nostrils, but it's very much uh, like hands. So it's um, I tried to make it as interesting as I possibly could. It's kind of again, he doesn't have a mouth. He have two snake uh, tongues coming out to reach for Michael. And this one here, uh, this, this last, the first one, I'm just back into a, um, you know, a position of watching what's going on. So we have here, you know, so you've, you've seen how I've just laid out the, these, these three, panels and hopefully uh the various colors and 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 the actions and the and the pacing even though it's a straight on you know it's as a profile shot basically a landscape shot i don't think because of the action and the continuity of action uh throwing in camera angles for this particular page for something that would be very quick this would be at the most 1000 1001 1002 1003 at the most 3 seconds of action and there's so much going on here that to cut the uh, cut to the camera uh, to different camera angles would just be too much at least for my taste but you know you've got your own way of doing things so that would be that'd be fine you just see what works for you and see if the if uh if uh if an audience or of readers you know uh, uh, agree with you so there's a, a another bit here i want to talk about is the sound effects and in this particular case the sound effects i because of the snake aspect to it of, of, of the of the uh, the creature, the sound, and I wanted to make it use use it throughout this page, so it's kind of like a snap, snap, shits, because he's been he's hit. Sh well, actually, there's two things. Even though he's going, sh he hits, <laughs> you know, and misses. There's another. S, s and then there's another s and then a shits and s, s throughout to me that's the sound effects instead of trying to come up with different um variations or not variations but rather instead of different you know sounds booms bashes and whatnot i tried trying to incorporate it into a particular um you know, uh, a family of things. Also, I've tried in, 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 I hand letter all my sound effects. And have you noticed there is no dialogue in this? I don't need to have dialogue to say, ha, you've missed me. And so, or oh, uh, wow, you've got a bad, you've got bad breath or, you know, stay clear of that. 
all you're doing is confusing it. Tell the story, the story of Michael getting away or at least attempting to get away from these beasts and the beasts going after them. That's all the time you have for a page. But there is a there is a lot going on here. So once again, um, these various ways of of uh, of of creating action. We have this here. There is the sweep of of snap and s there is this going in down here, which follows with this, which here is this, and again, these are coming in towards Michael. And again, that's creating energy. Whereas instead of it just being uh, this second uh, uh, blue uh, snake going after him, it's his hissing is, and this hissing, the essing of the uh, from the third uh, snake is also in many ways attacking Michael, and Michael hasing having uh, has to try and get through between these two uh, sound effects. It is just a way of showing action and and uh, and and, and uh, dynamics. Same thing here with the S's is following after Michael. This is coming up after Michael, and here's another one. So you've got Michael here, the uh, the the tongue arms reaching out, the S's 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 all going after Michael, and that's all part of the dynamics trying to make a very simple what what could be a very boring scene of him just jumping away, you know, a little more interesting. So, um, is there, we're getting, yeah, we're getting close to the uh, half hour mark. Is there anyone who's got, um, you know, um, comment, any, um, any uh, questions, anything that you uh, disagree with what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and you don't have to agree with me. I, I'm just trying to show you what, uh, what I know to do and how I do it. Um, the, I, I, I do think that the use of color in comics does not have to be realistic. And what I mean by that is you don't, if you can, you can change the, you can use the rules to create emotion or give you, give more dynamics. Uh, and I'm referring to, uh, let's see. And Damien says, uh, no, I'm just absorbing the information. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, it, I'm, I'm just trying to to make the uh, make this so that that you remember you do not have to be uh, naturalistic or realis realistic in how you handle color or your dynamics and your 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 designs. Th this here is is a cartoon this is a comic book you should be able to put a point of view across with every line that you make speaking of which i try to make it so that my characters are you know i'm trying to give a good feeling of old school um underground comics I mean again my work all these images I'm just going to just get that away all of these images are from basically line art uh that I did on pencil and paper 
and scan them. I didn't do it on on the uh, uh, on this uh, this tablet. I don't like doing it. It gives I it, the the uh, digital lines are too um, they're too perfect. For example, I'll just open this up as you can see. There's a graininess to all of this. Is a, a kind of a dirtiness to it, uh, which is kind, of, which is what an old style comic book from the 1960s uh, or so uh, used to be. Um, I, I it gives a roughness to it. Now I will make use of uh, the computers in that the if you'll note. Because there's so much going on here in terms of the front, I'll just I'll go back here. What I did was here in this area, you'll notice the tree trunk. Well, it, it, the drawing is uh, is a line art piece, but uh, in creating in creating uh, the composition of the composing everything together, what I did was I faded it faded the line work so that the darkness of the actual characters would stand out and pop out. So it was like doing a fade. Same thing here. You can feel that it's uh, these are these are tree trunks, but you don't but they're not competing with the uh, the darker line work here. Same thing here. That's I did that on several of the pages. Same thing here. You can see that you just feel it. If I did, if I didn't do that, then um, you know you would wind up competing. As I said, um, now sometimes you may want to have uh, something in the foreground and have the background character be you know popped back down by you know fading the line. But that's what I was. Uh, that's 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 a cool thing that you could do with computers. So make use of the tools that you that you wouldn't be able to have with you know just old analog, um, you know pen and ink and paper. But use them in a way that that adds to the piece. So let's see, let's show here. Huso, is there a good rule of thumb for determining how many panels you need to show in action? No. Um, you, what you do need to know to do is in a, each page should have a beginning, middle, and end to it. Now, it could be just three panels, and and it could be a varying varying sites. Uh, a beginning, middle, and end should want. It, the idea is that when you finish reading the page, um, there is a satisfaction, and that's that's different from having a pinup page. A story page should be, tell, you know, like if you're part of a story, it's you want it, you want to give more information, not just a little bit of information. Yeah, that's fine to have, you know. Here is a here is a pinup of uh, uh, here's a battle scene, and they're all all of this and that is going on. Well, that's cool, but um, somewhere. At the beginning of that panel, you are saying something. You are setting an aud the audience up for something. You know. You know. Even if this was a full page, if this was just this was a full panel here, somewhere in the upper left hand corner, you're starting something here. I mean. It, it could be one whole panel, but there's something going on here. And then going through this, this, you know, if it's a battle panel, 
all this is all this is happening in so and it is going on but it's developing something that was started up here and then it it develops and then there is a payoff down here that not only is a payoff but also t makes you want to turn the page go to the next page even if it, even if this is the right hand corner right hand page you it makes you want to go back up go up to the to the next top right hand uh left hand corner of the next page does that make sense ah come on come on come on, come on. Uh, does that make sense uh uh who so hmm. okay well the, the the rule that's that's my rule of thumb basically so it's not the number of panels it's how much story you're telling on each page that's the most important thing so um all right it's um we're now a little past the time um if you have questions that you want me to answer you know you could leave them in the comment section Oh wait. Makes sense. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Uh sorry, it, it seems my answers seem to lag a bit. That's that's fine. That's fine. I again, you know, appreciate you asking them. So make uh, uh, in the comment section on YouTube or on the uh, comment section in uh, on Facebook um let me know you know, if there's anything that you that that I didn't cover, or you want me to expand upon, and you know, I, I could do that. You know, in the next one, if not, I will go on to something else. But I, I totally, I, I really appreciate you all uh, coming. I I really appreciate you showing up, and I appreciate. Uh, hopefully, I've got some. You know, that this is something um, that you could use. Uh, something that you haven't heard before, or it's reinforcing something you've heard before, which is just as good. Um, so um, I'm going to carry on uh, with uh, with my uh, with the with uh, working on uh, on finishing off uh, the, uh, the the bits and pieces for Bloodwing Angel for book two. I finished all the coloring. Um, and uh, and now I'm in the process of doing the how-to, not the how-to, the Ashcan version of uh, like there's a 12 pager that I did I'm doing, and uh, that shows you the process that is um, of how I put together is a seven-page 1717 club st uh, a story. That has a beginning, middle, and end, and, it, and it's uh, it's at, it's a it's a a backup to the forty pages, uh, forty one pages of the uh, the Blood Queen, a Blood Wing and Angel Chronicles book uh, story. Uh, so uh, again, I thank you very much for showing up. Uh, listen, thank you very much. I hope that. I'll, Hope to hear from you and and uh, you give me your comments and uh, you can give me a, a thumbs up and just spread the word about what I'm doing and what kind of material and information you can find on my channel and uh, hopefully that you will uh, uh, you will support uh, the Kickstarter uh, you know I've got uh, a, as a PDF uh, version so. That there's no problem of getting it through the mail for overseas because I know how expensive it is. But believe me, it's that's the best thing I can do, you know. And uh, I, I, I've set set the the uh, uh, the shipping for as low as I could, but that's that's, that's the reality of what's going on. So anyway, um, thank you uh again so, uh, support the kickstarter and uh i look to see you uh look forward to seeing you next week so take care 
so long. Oh, and uh, Damon says, this was great. Thank you for all the good info. Thank you for showing up and for and for speaking up and letting me know that you're here, Damien. I'm, that's really cool. Thanks a lot. And uh, I'll see you later. And take care. Bye.